What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina. Today we are doing a bullet journal plan with me for the week of September 7th through September 13th. So I'm continuing on with my cow theme and I'm really loving the creative aspects I can pull from this theme. So for starters, I am doing a little cow background border on the bottom to, you know, complement my lovely little ink splats that I got back in July. So, yeah, they are, the cow theme fits perfectly because, you know, these little ink splats, you know, they fit in right then. That's all I can say. They, they complement each other. So, Last week I did just an overall cow spot background type theme and it was very simple and I enjoyed it. It was very functional, especially for the week I was having. But this week I wanted to incorporate more of a decorative aspect and um, I really like what I decided to come up with. So for this week I am taking a page from a nursery rhyme book and I am putting together the cow jumped over the moon. So for those of you who do not know that nursery rhyme, it is a popular nursery rhyme in the United States. Um, I don't know if it's popular worldwide, but if you are a viewer in a different country, definitely look it up. It's a cute little nursery rhyme. I've read it to my kids multiple times and yeah, if there's no rhyme or reason of why I chose the um, particular rhyme just for the fact that it has a cow and, you know, this cow's jumping over the moon. So I thought this would be a cute little uh, addition to my bullet journal theme for this month in particular. I'm using um, some pens that I, my husband actually bought them on Amazon and I'll link them down below in the description, but these pens are amazing. I mean, yes, if they burst in your bag, they'll leave a lovely little ink splat and go through pages and pages of your journal, but you know, they write extremely well and they just glide on the page so smoothly. I am probably gonna have my husband order some more because I love them. They are my new favorite pen and I believe they were extremely affordable. I mean, what isn't on Amazon these days? Um, but for my little artwork piece, I am using my Crayola color pencils and I penciled everything in first. You all know how I put together my bullet journal spreads. I pencil everything out to see exactly where it's going and then I just decided to go in with my color pencils and, you know, darken up the already pre-planned lines and colored them in. I love that I was able to actually color a spread with color pencils and bring together um, the spread through a colorful aspect. So here's my little barn. <laughs> I know it looks a little funky. It looks more like a house top but not ver uh, I think a barn really has like a hexagon shape but you know my barn is going to look like a little triangle house so that's my barn and then my moon is a gr a golden yellow shade because I didn't want to do just the standard white I mean the paper's already white so I figured you know what let's let's go ahead and make this moon yellow and um, I'm going in with a dark navy blue but color pencil. That's the color on the on the pencil. That's the shade, but it's not really showing up as dark as I'd like. But hey, that is a okay. You know, I want enough um, color on the page just so the white goes away. But I also still want to see the words that I am writing out on the page as well. It took forever to color this, but I I was determined to do it all in one sitting. My hand did start cramping a little, but you know, I am just building up those 
finger muscles, I guess you could say. And I really want to try, I don't know if this paper would be good enough, but I really want to try dabbling in like oil pastels or um, chalk. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and those and videos that pop up on Facebook um, with the artist. They're mainly on a canvas, so I think a canvas has a lot to do with it. But gosh, the way the colors blend together when they blend them out with a tissue paper, that looks so neat. So I wouldn't mind trying attempting it on a bullet journal. I don't know if it's possible if you are a pro at oil pastels or you know like those different chalk um, color coloring aspects if you have done them quite frequently and know if it's possible to do it on paper please let me know in the comment section below I would love to hear your thoughts because I am just looking to bring some variety especially with October being next month I am so excited for all the different Halloween spreads that are going to come our way I think for October I'm just gonna do generic Halloween themes um, I'm not gonna do like an overall encompassing month I'm gonna just you know each week is going to be some aspect of Halloween that I love I think I'm gonna do a candy theme you know a jack-o'-lantern theme which is um, gosh there's just so much so I am excited for October but until then I have about three more weeks of September or maybe two after this and we're gonna go with as many cow themes as possible so I'm gonna have to brainstorm another couple of cow themes to do I think I'm gonna do a um, old McDonald had a farm theme I'm, I'm really tuning into the the nursery rhymes because they're just a they're great they remind me of the ch my childhood well now I'm like reliving my childhood through my kids it's really neat being able to sing these songs with them and get them all excited and stuff their favorite nursery rhyme is the wheels on the bus they are obsessed with that song we have to go through that song probably about a good three times if I start singing it so I'm always like you know I always have to be prepared to if I start that one I'm gonna be there for a while and then I would say their second favorite nursery rhyme is definitely twinkle twinkle little star so those are the top two the wheels on the bus and twinkle twinkle little star I want to start doing like little um, nursery rhyme dance parties with my kids I've tried a couple times there's this YouTube channel where they just sing and dance around and my son's interested but he doesn't stay focused long enough he, he kind of just like oh it's time to run around and play so I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna wait till he hits four and see if he's interested then but man I love being a mom and it's awesome just getting to like spend time with my kids and do arts and crafts and act or act silly and dance around and it's just all good times and stuff so here is my little cow <laughs> I know he has some pretty big ears but I loved how it came out and there he is jumping over the moon I he's not actually over it in this picture but you know he has a good little leap and bound so he's he's definitely gonna make it over that moon and um, I just wanted to right out and the cow jumped over the moon just to pull it from that nursery rhyme um I thought about writing out the whole thing and write and drawing like a little cat with a fiddle and stuff but I was just like well wow, that's a lot of drawing so I decided to keep it simple but you know I really like how it came out and for the top portion you know I again really simple theme just writing out the days of the week I um, 
did like the days and then as well as the numerical number that is associated with each day and I'm just you know doing standard boxes again I don't have too much going on with Monday being Labor Day it's we're off so I'm going to enjoy the day at home with family and then I'm I have quite a few work projects, but nothing too, too overbearing. And then a lot of it is the bulk of school. I am coming up on like that midterm status, but with grad school, there is no midterm. It's just, you know, long-term papers the entire semester. But I'm not complaining. I'm writing about stuff that I find extremely interesting and, you know, I'm just counting down till that first week of October because then I will be off for two months and then I'll start back up in January ready to go. So here it is. Um, I'm always including a note section and I wanted to add a little bit more of a pop of like the core. So I decided to just underline everything with um, my thin markers and I was just like well since I use blue as a color pencil for the sky I might as well use blue up here and I'm also including yellow stars to just indicate that it's nighttime so the stars are just going all over the place well this is pretty much the end of the spread thank you all for tuning in if this is the kind of content you like all things planner related please consider giving me a follow on instagram and subscribe below thank you all i'll see you all in the next video bye have a good one